shall we all stand up please near my god to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We have gathered here to thank the Lord for the gift of Roland. Every human being is God's gift to the family, to the community, to the parish, to the whole church. Every human being is sent by God with a purpose. We are very sad that such a young age life begins and our brother Roland is gone. Let us look at the cross of Jesus. Let us look at Mother Mary and derive consolation. For all of us, especially his family, parents, and siblings. At this young age, perhaps, he made mistakes. All of us are sinful. May the Lord forgive him and receive him in heaven among the saints and angels. So that our prayer is more fruitful, more effective. Let us call to mind our own weaknesses, our own sins. Altogether, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, my brothers and, and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts, in my, in my words, in what, what I have done, and what, what I have failed to do. Through my, through my fault, through my, through my fault, fault, through my, through my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore ask, ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever virgin, ever virgin, all the all angels, angels and saints, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for, for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints, give we pray to your servant Roland, for whom we perform the fraternal office of burial, to share with your chosen ones in the blessedness of you give so that on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, he may come before your face. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. What does it profit, my brethren, if a man says he has faith but has not works? Can his faith save him? If a brother or sister is ill-clad and in lack of daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body. What does it profit? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. But some will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works and I, by my works, will show you my faith. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the deep shown, you foolish fellow, that faith apart from works is barren. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered his son Isaac upon the altar? You say that faith was active along with his works, and faith was completed by works, and the scripture was fulfilled which says, Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You see that a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so faith apart from works is dead. The word of God. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures, where he gives me reward. Your restful waters is me to revive my hope. for the acclamation.
The Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. If a great, you, Jesus said to his disciples, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there shall my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, we are pained to see such a young life extingu extinguished. We are born, we are meant to live. God give us life. It is because of human frailty, human weakness, human sin, death entered the world. He created us to live. But the resurrection of Jesus, he died at the age of, they say, 33. He was crucified for the sake of humanity. He willingly accepted it as God the Father's will to make up for the sinful humanity. Young man at 33, he was crucified. He was hanging on the three uh, nails, hands and feet. He was bleeding. They opened his side with the lens and the water and blood flows out. Before he gave up his life, he entrusted his mother to his friend John. He didn't have anything. He was naked. Everything was taken away by the Jews. They must be making fun of him. And yet Jesus was seriously thinking of us, of you and me. And trust his mother, only his mother was left, nothing else. And trust her, the care of John, his relative, his cousin. And then he gives up his soul. It is finished, he says. And then he gives up his soul. But on the third day, he rose. They thought everything is over. Even his own disciples, Mary Magdalene, the other lady went to the tomb to anoint it. And they found the door open. And they asked the man whom they saw, Please, sir, have you taken away the body of my master, of our master? We won't be anointed. And then Jesus calls them out, Mary. And that's when they recognized him. They recognized him. And the catch hold of his feet, so overjoyed, Jesus said, Go and tell my brothers that I have risen. Not over. We like to catch his feet and stay. Feel nice. No. All humanity has to be saved. Jesus 
rose from the on the third day <coughs> on that resurrection is a hope suffered died and rose his resurrection gives us hope a young brother will rise all of us know that but when such things happen in our own family we are lost i wanted to be a priest when i was four i want to be a father patiu jata told me how to study how to grow i was in baina uncle's place i used to tell the others i never spoke when he was at home am patiu jata lisa am kovari patiu jata shingon you must study prepare yourself you must study you don't study this thing sabil is be a priest study things changed after liberation i went to work after finished my studies i went to work so so much life suffering suffering there was a young man who was suffering met with an accident the mother could not see the suffering she was crying jesu pakut kar mujh putachi kuch bole varte ka mugo sonso sonso jai na please take him he was praying because she could not see the suffering hospital they sent him home he died after some days so they could not see the suffering of the young man i went after some days to visit her i was not a priest then i went to see her telling me about all everything about her son I went on talking for 45 minutes everything about our son how he was he grew up how he was playful how he was uh, fighting with his siblings how he was calling out the neighbors all that and he was crying in between sobs shedding tears she was telling me about her son and when she finished somebody brought tea had the tea she said baba paren disle सगले को आयकील मुगे सगले ये वोताय बोरो वे बस बसोलो शिमनारी आसलो ती फेल्ट नाइस गिविंग टाइम इयर फॉर सफरींग पर्सन लेट एस गिव इयर टू फेमिली मेम्बर्स लिसन टू दियर सफरींग देन एंड विद प्रे लेट एस बिलीव दट ही इज विद जीजस इज अ सफर डायड एंड रोज फ्रॉम द डेड to go to heaven we have to die jesus says in the gospel we have heard if a grain of wheat dies it bears much fruit you know every seed that we that we uh, put in the field that we sow get destroyed comes up new shoot and then it gives fruit the child a uh, people a uh, parents planted seeds and nobody was there next day we opened the whatever was kept on top and you we saw somebody noticed that if you interfere i will cut your fingers my granny said we knew she wouldn't do that we used to tease her so uh, a person who is put in the grave has to come out this human body made of made of earth has to go to earth one day it will come resurrection at the end of the world all bodies miraculously will rise risen bodies let us accept that let us have pray for the family of a brother roland accept this let us pray for them make it it possible to visit them listen to them pray with them console them as i continue let us remember that it will come to each one of us we never think of the death never think because death is frightening it is it is but for us death is a step towards heaven the body made of earth has to go to earth a soul goes to 
goes for uh, final justice. May the Lord accept him in his heaven among saints and angels and he will pray for all of us, especially his family. Let us also continue keeping in mind our death also will come. To be always prepared. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept this sacrifice with their hands, hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for, for our, our good, good and, and good, good of all his holy church. church. Be near, O Lord, we pray, to your servant, Roland, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation. So that should any stain of sin have clung to him, or any human fault have affected him, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away. May his family be consoled. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up. Your heart. We lift up them to you, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for even, even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death, according to our sin since we are redeemed through Christ, great victory, and with him called back into life. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our Rising, you restored our Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate. The memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Roland, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember, Lord, also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially the, this, the family of the deceased brother. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially St. Francis, St. Joseph, St. Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you, Throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, the God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I wanted to be a priest when I was four. Okay, we, we see priest and we talk like that. At the age of 10, I could not go because there were problems. So I was liberated. I joined after I've been working for many years, but I had the opportunity to see so much suffering, so much suffering, children dying, suffering. And that helped me to grow. My mother was making a list. It's going to be ordained on the 30th, then on the 1st, Mass for this one, second day I attend Mass that one, fourth day I attend Mass for that soul. The mother died, and the Mass was started. I didn't know, where she is, where's mommy, where's mother, where's mom? Ethel Erisaiba, Bishop Rahul said, and after the funeral, after the Mass, everybody surrounded me. The old father, who's there, manages in the clergy home. Dhanare, dhanare, Jesu Bore Geli. He was crying. I had to console him. But I cried the whole night. So, God's gift, what God has given, God doesn't take away. It can away. With these thoughts, as we say the Lord's Prayer, may the family be consoled and uh, continue, continue living this life, the strength of God's uh, Holy Spirit. Asking for them this gift, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy, come, thy will, will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily, our daily bread, and as forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. <clears throat> Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. on us. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, grant us peace. peace. This is Jesus, a risen Lord, suffered and died, rose from the dead. His rising, his resurrection gives us hope. He's coming into our hearts to help us to face this tragedy with faith and hope, especially the family of our deceased brother. Happy are we for called to this banquet. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Thank you, Reverend Father Nelson, for praying for us, the passing of Roland Soul, and also for the strength we need to cope with this sad loss. With all of us gathered here from very far, some online, we plainly see how he touched so many of our privileged souls in his simple and honest ways. Yes, he was my family, but also my friend. He always missed his father. He loved his mother, his sister Rachel, his wife Valerina, and the children Shane and Ethan to the moon and back. So we can barely begin to feel the pain that he must have been in, in choosing to leave us. We pray that he is at peace now. From all of Roland's family, we wish to thank all of you for your prayers and kind support in reaching out to us in this time of loss. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Lynn, one of the cousins of Roland. We are gathered here today to say goodbye to Roland, who was a cherished grandson, a loving son, a supportive husband, overprotective brother, doting and caring father, and most of all, a helpful friend. We would like to thank all of you for joining us here today, both family and friends alike, to celebrate the life of Roland. He would be proud of the respect you have shown him and honored by your presence. We would like to ask everyone gathered here to remember something about Roland. who touched each of our lives in so many ways. For those who send their condolences, we are humbled and greatly appreciate the countless number of calls, texts, flowers, visits, thoughts and prayers. They have been both comforting during this difficult time and have been a reminder of the impact that Roland had on Kindly stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Roland, our brother, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On the day of his baptism, Roland put on Christ. In the day of Christ's coming, may he be clothed with glory. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ be good shepherd, 
lead him, Christ the Good Shepherd, lead him safely home to be at peace with God our Father. Let your response be receive him, his soul, and present him to God the Most High. Please repeat. Receive, Make, right? receive him, his soul, and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Response Receive him. So his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ be who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Response Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Give him eternal rest, O Lord. May you light shine, may your light shine on him forever. Response Receive his soul and present him to God Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our brother. We are confident that we all have, all who have died in Christ, he will raise to his life on the day, last day. And with Christ forever, we thank you for all the blessings you give him in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with saints in Jesus Christ. May the angels lead you to paradise. Lord, welcome our brother into paradise. Help to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith. Give comfort to his family, parents, and siblings, relatives, and friends. We all meet in Christ. Until we all meet in Christ, to be with you and with, your bro with our brother forever and ever, Amen. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem.
Thank you.